funk it. Welcome back once again. Yes, um, the news one I got from I see out of fire reveal amount Buhari government spent on power without progress. Once again, RFI reveals amount Buhari's government spent on power without progress. And again, we will still talk about uh, Mr. Femi Falana. Femi Falana tell the other man, what they call Abubakar Malami, the Minister of Justice, making apologize to Nigeria. All this we will talk inside this video. So, ladies and gentlemen, make I use this opportunity to tell those of you who never subscribed before, make you to subscribe, make you to share, and make you to make sure you to press that bell sign so that any time when Funky D, Funky D upload, when I will first get my video. So, make we go into the news. The news say out of fire. The governor of Kaduna State, the body bag man, say he won't tell the world how much Buhari government don't spend for electricity for only three years. You understand? Now the thing when the man tried to open up to Nigerian people, he can't say. With all this huge amount of money, whether on when Buhari's government, Abidjubri's government, don't spend for three years for electricity without progress, see a problem day. See a big problem to Nigerian people. See they don't really get electricity. They don't really get anything in that country. See the electricity companies. They don't really work in the favor of Nigerian people. So the man can come out, can talk. See Buhari government. See they don't spend. 1.7 trillion alone on power 1.7 trillion only for three years and electricity nobody is here for i in nigeria now this thing, now this thing went out of fire they cry see man it not understand the reason why, when they go spend such amount of money, they then go look into the electricity companies that matter. Because they matter tire everybody in that country they call the Sioux. The man where they call RFI, they make this disclosure. And one, one time when in the brief, the journalist, on the outcome of a national economic council what they call the neck and inside that meeting somebody like Osebanjo Yemi Osebanjo the vice president of Nigeria now the man now preside over the meeting on Thursday in son a lot of people they inside the meeting when the man they describe the issue concerning the power when the Nigerians in contact say the national emergency and say you need everybody to put hand on the desk when they go take interrogate the people when they uh, work for the power sector. They then will talk the matter because the issue of electricity went to Nigeria. Don't be smart. They say they need a solution. They need a solution because they say a problematic problem, a big problem. That is serious problem. Mm -hmm. Because the government don't spend all this kind of big money. Still, they only see electricity for I in that country. What they call Nigeria. And then they claim, see, the National Economic Council won't be the neck. They then appointed two committees last year. And him, 
It won't be out of five. It was privilege hmm? to be the chairman of the National Council. So, ladies and gentlemen, and that one, the the R5, their own, all of them. Now, sometimes these people, now then be the government, now they now then they inside government, now then go see they come out, they complain. All the whole problem when consign that country, now their hand, the problem originated from. Everything when did that country as that country did today? Now these people had when did they come see the government where them be when they now them be the Nigerian government. Now why government would they come out they complain to people when they when they need to do their own job? Things when I know see you know they okay when I got to fix it make when I know they come out to they complain to people. The electricity not day. Why electricity is not there? Now on our hand, because when we don't budget, now we go still share up. When we don't budget, now we go still share up. So why when they come and they complain? Make we stop to the complain. Make we do on our job. If we know say we not feel do on our job, make we all of us step down. So that people, once I do the job, go enter, do the job well for Nigerian people. So that Nigerian people will take their make on a step down so that Nigerian people will take their time, choose somebody when go govern them. All right. Because all of them when they did there from A to Z, all of them are not zero. Zero. So, we are not supposed to come out to the complain to people. We are they there to govern. Now, everything when they wrong in that country, now on a hand they day. You understand? Now, Nigeria be the only country where they see government, they come out, they, they complain to their citizen. Why are you complaining? You are there to do the job. Fix it. What Anything when you know, say they wrong in that country, you don't need to complain. Fix it because that is why you, they, you claim, say, the vote you put for there. So, ladies and gentlemen, make a risk more before we go uh, to the issue of uh, 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 Falana and uh, Darawa Malami. <coughs> RFI reveal amount Buhari's government spent on power without progress. The Kaduna State Governor Nasara RFI has disclosed that the federal government has spent a whopping sum of 1.7 trillion on power in the last three years without much progress. RFI made the disclosure while briefing journalists on the outcome of the National Economic Council NEC meeting presided over by the Vice President Yami Osubanjo at the presidential villa Abuja on Thursday. He described the power situation in the country as a national emergency that requires all hands on desk to interrogate why the sector was not working to the benefit of Nigeria. Arfai said the solution to the nation's problematic power sector might be painful because the government could not continue to finance a sector that had glipped 1.7 trillion naira without much progress. He said the National Economic Council appointed two committees last year. I was privileged to chair and um, we brought a progress report to the council. We all agree that the electricity supply industries is broken and situation of the power sector is national emergency. 
that requires all hands to be part on desk to be put on desk to interrogate why the sector is not working for the overall progress and benefits of Nigerians. Yes, Nasu and talk them. They don't talk, they don't talk, ladies and gentlemen. So the only thing when we hear from these people, Nasu so complain. So make I use this medium. Tell them, say, if you know, say, you don't tire to govern, make you go sit down. If you know, say, you don't want to govern again, make you go sit down. You did here to do your job. Make you stop complaining and do your job. Do your job, gentlemen. Stop to the comma to complain. Again, Falana asks Malami to apologize to Nigerian people over Amotek. Una no see the same Malami when be the justice minister before in talk say Amoteku na ilega. Falana then say no Amoteku not be ilega thing. Na something when done already come to stay. Una no Falana na Mr uh, Mr Falana when be son a senior advocate of Nigeria. You understand? And uh, the Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice, na Mr. Abubakar Malami, him also, my son. He said the man mislead Nigerian people. Say because Amuta Kona legal status of the Southwest Security outfit. Say Malami things when Malami tell people now Malami don't change mouth. Say Malami need to come out, come out boldly. You understand? Uh -huh. The man don't use shame cover all your face. Everything when the man they come out, they talk, not they make sense. Then they always go against good good things, and the evil ones, evil things, name them the support. So, ladies and gentlemen, the issue concerning Malami and the Falana, Falana, they tell Malami say he must to come out. You understand? Come out from his hiding. Content Nigerian people say indeed very very sorry for waiting in use the Mount Nyan before regarding Amotek. Because at the end of the day, Falana still win the man. And the man na justice minister. Falana not be justice minister, ladies and gentlemen. But na so soon win. Falana they win them. Because them when be the northerners. They not go that school where they claim say then go well. They not go that school where they talk say ah, we don't graduate here. We get this, we get that, all those things. Now are you, ladies and gentlemen?